Skip it now. about DJ, man. What do you mean? It's like he bringing his personal life to work. His personal life? Ever since the death of his friend, he been coming to work, carrying a gun, suspicious of everybody. What do you want me to do about it? You the man, right? Get rid of him. This man might show up one day and shoot all of us. I can't go in there and get rid of my top morning personality because of an assumption you have about him. Why not? I'm the man for the job. Always have been. In case you've forgotten, I run a business here. I've got ratings to think about. My sponsors would pull out in a heartbeat if I suddenly got rid of DJ. And you know this. I got followers. I got listeners. Just like he do. They'll do anything I tell them. Who, G? Your wife and kids, your mom and dad. This station can't run off of peanuts and circus tricks. Man, you got Sit back down, G. This isn't personal. Don't let your ego override your logic. So you ain't gonna do nothing about it? All right, it's on you then.
Mr. Dillon, I understand that the murder of a close friend can be difficult to deal with, but explain the paranoia. See, Kevin was a music producer, and I introduced him to a lot of people in the business, and some of them had shady backgrounds. What is the gun for? Because I fear whoever killed Kevin could be after me. Why would they come after you? I heard that he owed quite a bit of money to some of them. Has anyone contacted you about Kevin's debt? No. Perhaps, perhaps this is all just in your mind. Maybe you're suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder. Kevin's the one that owed them the money, not you. Yeah, but I can't help but think that if I hadn't introduced him, he probably would still be alive today. Well, first of all, you need to quit blaming yourself for his death. You don't understand. Ever since we were kids, we've always had each other's back. I mean, he wasn't supposed to go out like that. Not, not like that. Mr. Dillon, give me some time and we can work through this. Now, leave the gun at home and let the police do their jobs. Now, we're out of time for today, but we'll continue this in our next session. Sure. I know these streets, yeah. I know this game, this game. Been here a while to see some things. Some things. Done been through hell, hell. There's so much pain. So much pain. I ain't Buckle up. How's it going? Is something wrong? And the morning show dictates the afternoon show. He went to skip on me? I had a feeling G had something to do with this. Buckle up, I'll get back with you later, man.
What's up, boss? G, what the hell are you doing to my station? The FCC could shut us down. Shut us down for what? Plugola and Paola. Man, I don't know what you're talking about. I should have never put you in that spot. Hey, I've been holding down the fort ever since your boy spazzed out. How are you holding down the fort when we have clients complaining that their spots aren't being played and the board of directors is calling me to the carpet? Hey, what they got to do with me? Double dealing, G. What you doing here? Oh, let me guess, you came back to shoot me? <laughs> I don't even care, it, Connie. Play it. Word now that I can take it up with you. And a few days president. Wow, well, uh, <clears throat> you set me up. You set yourself up. You ain't man enough to come in here and try to take my job. Get security in here now. Randy, Randy, run the cops, man. Hey, man, you want to do this the easy way? Or the hard way? Man. Get him out of here! God need me for this, man. I don't even need him. 